question my my question was yes what's your question was the when the um who was it uh that went into um well like with caleb caleb and joshua, joshua. when yes, they went into the land of um where the canaanites were yes um you know to me and it says that if they was a cursed people my question would be if they was a cursed people why would the uh, why would Caleb, why would the why would they be trying to enter a land and overtake a land that would be cursed okay so gotcha go ahead read that so sis i just want to clarify and clear up some things so what you're talking about you mentioned noah and that the original israelite comes through that line right so you have adam and then, of course, he had his sons. Then you had Noah, and he had his sons, right? You spoke of Ham. That is one of his sons, right? He had Shem, Ham, and Jephthah, right? Now, the Israelites come through the line of Shem. So, out of his three sons, Shem, that's where we come from, right? And then you have Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So, Abraham comes from the line of Shem. And then he has a son named Isaac, right? And then he had two sons. Jacob and Esau and we come from Jacob and Jacob name was changed to Israel and that's where you have his sons known as the Israelites meaning sons of or children of Israel so that's where you get Israelites I just want to clear that up real quick and let's read and touch on Ham so this is one of the sons of Noah read that this is the compact excuse me the Sondering compact Bible dictionary page 213 Ham the youngest son of Noah. So Ham, who we're talking about, is the youngest son of Noah. Read. Born probably about 96 years before the flood. All they can do is give you a rough estimation. Read. And one of eight persons to live through the flood. Just one of eight people, right? This is where all the families of the earth come from. Read. He became the progenitor of the dark races. So the progenitor is the start of. Right? He's about to progenitate the nations, the dark ones, right? He's the beginning of those. So, mind you, this is written by scholars. So, just clarifying that. Read. Not the Negroes. So, he's the progenitor of the dark skinned people, but what? Not the Negro. But not the Negroes. Remember, you got Shem, Ham, and Jephthah. I said we come through Shem. But it just said the progenitor of the dark races. So, you may say, well, don't we come from Ham? No. We come through Shem. That's what the scholars understand. Because we brown skin, right? But isn't Shem the, the grandson of, uh, of Noah, the son of oh, Ham? Crazy. Isn't Shem the... No. no? He's the son of, he's the son of no, Noah. Remember I said he got three sons. Okay. Right? And okay. you mentioned Ham. That's where the progenitor of the dark races. That's the ones that are cursed. Right? That's what we'll read. But uh, go back to the definition real quick. And then we're going to touch on the scriptures. Read that. Again, from the top seven. Or not the Eagles. Okay. He became the progenitor of the dark races. So this is what the scholars know. Ham is the forefather of the dark races, right? The great, 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 great granddaddy of all the dark-skinned people, also known as Africans, right? Read. Not the Negro. But not of the so-called African-Americans, right? Not of the Negroes that were taken into slavery. Read. But the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans and Canaanites and Canaanites so that's that's what you mentioned earlier my sister right you said why is the nation of Israel or the Israelites going into a land that's cursed right but what's cursed is that Ham his grandson right his son the Canaanites they're part of a cursed people the Africans so the land itself was not cursed due to their forefather Ham because that land was never meant for those people. It was meant for us to inherit, right. right? So those people are cursed to be servants, right? Servants to who? The Israelites. So when I asked you, did you, did you know the origins of the Israelites? You said, that's where you thought we came from, Ham. But the scholars know, and according to the Bible, we don't come from Ham. We come from Shem, we're Shemitic, right? Or Sinmite. Right? So we can't be anti-Semitic because we come from Shem. Now give me Jeremiah 14 and 2 real quick. To touch on that color because it said the forefather or progenitor of the dark races. And then it named Egyptians, Libyans, right? Ethiopians. You may say that's our people. But that's not our people according to the Bible. We share a similar, a similar skin tone, but they're not our people. Read this. 
This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. It said Judah mourning, right? Judah is the fourth son of Israel, also known as Jacob. I told you you had Noah, then he had his three sons, he came through Shem, then from him on down, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Then you have today known as the Israelites, meaning the, the ites is the sons of, or the children of, Israel. And he's the fourth son of Israel, and he's the so-called American black today. So when you hear the word Judah, think of the so-called Negroes or American blacks, me and you. Think of us in our history, right? The civil rights. The slave trade, 1619. Think of all of that. Read that again. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. So we're mourning, and the gates thereof languish. That gates is talking about is our leaders, right? Our leaders, they're destroyed. They're not here. Who's the leader of the so-called blacks today? <laughs> right. <laughs> but, uh, hell no. But, but he's in place as a figurehead or as a leader. Our enemies use him to calm the people down. They pay him money to calm his people. Hey, I know we just killed that man brutally in the streets. I know we just did that evil, but we need you to calm them Negroes down. They're starting to get a little... So they use him, but he's not our leaders. But if I ask you 50 or 60 years ago, who's our leaders? There you go. You can name them. Right, but today it's like, you laugh, right? Because there's no men standing up today. But guess what? There are new men raised up that's come to the truth that we spoke about in the beginning, that we are God's chosen people. You have Bishop Nathaniel, Bishop Kanai, Bishop Yawasop, and they have started an organization known as Israel United in Christ. And that's what you're seeing today when you're seeing the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, Native American man rise up to teach their people. That's what you're seeing today. So now, when I ask you who are your leaders, you may didn't know about us, right? You may didn't know about this group, but then if you look us up, you will see the world changing events that have taken place around us, right? So we touching on Judah, the son of I, uh, the son of Israel, right? The son of Isaac, the son of Abraham. That goes all the way back to Shem, because we're not Ham. Because you asked before, why would they try to take a cursed land? The people was cursed. They're cursed to be servants. Right. But you and I, we're not cursed to be servants unless we broke God's commandments. And that's what you see today. Read on. They are black. What are the Judites? They are black. What are the Israelites? They are black. They are black. Read. Unto the ground. Unto the soil. Unto the dirt. Varying shades of brown, my sister, right? The land itself is blessed. That's the land of God, the land of milk and honey. That's what God describes it as. So then you wonder, why don't Africans seven feet tall, eight feet tall? When you look around us, we're not that height no more. But in that land, why are Africans so tall? Because they're eating of the land that it's blessed. The food that comes from that land at that point in time was the blessed food. Read that. Galatians chapter 4 verse 26. Uh -huh. But Jerusalem which is above is free which is above what all the other lands all the other land masses jerusalem which is above is what is free is free it was blessed by the lord it was blessed why because it was meant to be our land the motherland like he said the land of uh, jerusalem is free but i like i said i've been self-taught and i've been learning mm -hmm. some things but i just don't understand how like in the um what is it, the, the temple of, uh, where you got the three, you got, you got the, like the, um, the, you got the Muslim temple. Oh, the, today with the New World Order. Is that uh, what that is? Uh, yes. Oh, no, she's, she, she, the, temple the Temple Mount. I don't temple, understand. Yeah, yeah how do you have the Temple Mount? Abrahamic Temple. You can have the, right, the so three. Right, that's what she's talking about. You got the, the that's, uh, the, um, Joel, they parted my land. Yes, sir, get Joel land. three, yeah. three through six. Okay. Yeah, you got like the, the, the uh, Jews, basically Jews, yep. you got the Christians, and you got your Muslims basically in one wall. So, okay. I mean, if it's Atlanta, the free, I don't understand why, you know, outside of the wall is just so much confusion. If you can be within the wall, you can have, well, maybe a little, some contention, but mm -hmm. evidently, you know, some people, whoever higher up, feel that it's something that can be settled among the people. Come a little close for me, sis. I want to show you this real quick. Because you ask why, if that's the land of free, why is it such contention today? Right. Read this for me. Joel chapter 3 verse 1. For behold, in those days, 
in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. So now the captivity, what's another word for captivity? My sister Glenda. Bondage, right? Slavery, read. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. That's going to be in judgment day, right? But jump to verse 3 for me now. So we're talking about the captivity of the nation of Israel, right? Read that. And take a look at that sign, that picture for me, sis. Verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people. It said, and they have cast lots for my people. It's going to explain to you who's the they. Guess what? It's just who you mentioned. Read. And I've given a boy for an harlot. So they bred us. You familiar with that, right, sis? I'm sure you've seen Roots and Slavery oh, yeah. was bred, right? Oh, yeah, 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 the, yeah. the Bucks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, praises. Read on. And sold a girl for why? You've seen them raping our mothers, our right. foremothers, our sisters. Even if I was to get married, could the master still sleep with my wife? Yeah, if he wanted yes, to. if he wanted to. That's what was happening. They had sex with our women for pleasure. Read. That they might drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? Africans, what have ye to do with me, Africans, or the children of Ham? So you have Ham, read. And all the coast of Palestine. All the coast of who? Of Palestine. Those are Arabians, my sister, right? Because you mentioned them. They all in that land fighting. If that's the land of peace, why are those three groups of people fighting, right? Why is there such contention? Read that. Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me. Will you recompense means to pay back. Will you pay back God? Why would they try to pay back God? Because he didn't choose them. He chose us, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, to be his chosen people. That's right. But guess what? When you have a chosen people, that will make other people jealous or envious. Right. You have children? Yes, I have children. If you, you said three daughters? Yes. And if you tell those three daughters in a mist, right, you say, you're my favorite. Okay. How the mother two going to feel? Right? Okay. Red, they're gonna feel some kind of way. The <laughs> there, there you go. Hey, hey, don't you hey, you know you're my favorite, but don't tell them now, all right? That's how it is. The Lord has openly stated that we're his people, right. and he's only our God and none else. The world knows that. It's just the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans that don't know that the Bible, the God of this Bible is our God and our God only. The rest of the world knows that. That's why God is asking them, will you recompense me? Will you pay me back for not choosing you? Read. And if ye recompense me, swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. How can anybody pay back God? You can't. So who can they touch? Your favorite. I can't touch you up there, but they're down here with me though. Okay, you didn't pick me, so I'm going to destroy them. The people that you love so much, I'm going to go after them. So the Lord says, since you want to go after them, won't I come for you? If somebody do some harm to your children, Aren't you going to do your best to protect them or get revenge? Yes. That's what is natural in all of us. That's right. Right? But the Bible says, let the Lord take vengeance. And that's what he's saying right now. I will take vengeance. I will pay you back. Right. I will recompense you. Read. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold. You rat, you, they ransacked our temple, our land. And what else did they take? Remember this picture. Read. And have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things the children also of judah the children of who of judah the children of judah the so-called american blacks right and that's talking about not just judah that's talking about benjamin that's talking about levi read and the children of jerusalem the children of jerusalem the children of israel all the ten tribes of northern kingdom all the 12 tribes of israel that's where we have the hispanics native americans they destroyed the native indians here they destroy Cuba, which is the island of Cuba, which is Manessa. They destroy Puerto Rico. They conquered those lands of Hispolia, right? That's where you have Columbus Day and all of that. That's where they found those people. You don't think they robbed them? They're robbing them to this day. And that's what he's talking about right here. That's why I told you, look at this sign. This picture right here is a picture of the transatlantic slave trade. If you did not know, this is what that picture is. They took us from here. The children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians. Sold unto who? The Grecians. The Grecians. That's the, so, the Jewish people. Because you said you have those people over there, right? right? Yeah. So we just named them off. It said the uh, coast of Palestine, which is the Arabians. Then it said the Grecians, which is the Amalek or the Jewish people over there. And then there's Ham. 
Africans. All of them are fighting for that land. How are they able to fight for that land when it's not theirs? Because right. this right here. They already got rid of us. We're not there anymore. That's why I said, you're going to recompense me? Meaning they captured us and they put us into slavery. And now that we out the picture, now they all fighting to be favored. Well, I want the land. I want the land. I want the land. That's why there's wars over there. Because we're not there yet. Now, Luke 21. Give me one second, sis. I got your question right after this. The book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with armies. Jerusalem, that's the land of Israel, or known as the land of Canaan, right? Jerusalem, when you see it surrounded by armies, read. Then know that the desolation thereof is not. It's talking about 70 AD, when the Romans sacked Jerusalem, when they tore down our temple, when they threw us into captivity or known as slavery. That's what that's talking about. Read. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. Christ said, flee, run for your life. Don't stay in this city. They're going to surround the city, so do not stay. Flee. Read. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. So if you're in that city, leave. Leave. Read. And let not them that are in the countries into therein too. So if you're in the surrounding areas, don't come back to the capital. Jerusalem was our capital, right? It said, do not come back. Read. For these be the days of vengeance. A vengeance, a recompensing. Read. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. That we will be destroyed. That we will, in Joel 3, that they will scatter us and then they will fight for our land. That's what's being fulfilled. That's, That's what right. Christ said. That's going to happen. Because we was in the land of Israel. We was in that land. But the prophecies say we must be scattered about. That's what had to happen. So Christ letting us know, do not come back. Or you're going to be in slavery. Read. But woe unto them that are with child. But destruction unto them with children. You may say, why destruction? Say, if you was pregnant, can you run very fast? Can you do anything quickly? And if you do do something quickly, are you likely to trip and fall? Are you likely to injure yourself? Woe unto them. Destruction to those with child. There's only so much escaping you can do when it's time to run for your life and you got an extra 30 pounds on you. When your, your uh, center of gravity is distorted, right, because you have a huge belly in front of you, how are you going to run for your life then? Say it again. Or an infant. Right. Read that. And to them that give suck. That give suck. You have a baby, a small child. Enslaved in the Roots movies that we've seen. If you're on a run, can you be on a run with an infant? No, they can cry. And can you tell them, shh, be quiet, shh. No, they're going to cry. They're going to scream to the top of their lungs. The moment they're uncomfortable, the moment they poop, the moment they're hungry. So, woe, destruction unto you, because they will find you. Then they're going to move slow. Say you got a little toddler. You think they're going to run as fast as you're going to run? What you going to have to do? Pick them up and start running. Now your center of gravity is off again. So that's why I'm saying woe or destruction to those that are with child or they give suck to children. Or you have small children. Woe, destruction to you. Why? Because you're going to be running for your life. And it's going to be very hard to run for your life when you got small children. Because not too, not too many people will leave their children. That's why Christ already telling you, yeah, just destruction to you. Because he understands our mindset. You're going to do your best to save your child. Right? And more than likely you're going to die for them. Exactly. So that's why Christ knows that. So woe unto you. Read. In those days, in those days that they're recompensing us, that they're going to scatter us, that they're going to take us captive. Read. For there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. So it's going to be great distress. And that distress has carried on to this day. And that's what you were talking about, my sister. That's the distress. That's that conflict. That's that contention. There's not peace in that land. But that's supposed to be the land of the free. Above all, why isn't there peace in that land? Because this we was removed and now you have imposters fighting for that land read and they shall fall by the edge of the sword we were killed read and shall be led away captive unto all nations and that's what you see in this sense we was led captive to all nations so when you read the right side of that you will see that we have bywords for our names now our conquerors have renamed us but this is what God calls us. But if you look at this side right here, that's all over this world. That's all over the world, right? That's because we were conquered. And guess what? A man going to die for his family, right? That's right. He's going to die for his wife. He's going to die for his kids. 
That's why I say you shall be killed with the sword. People gonna fight back, but you gonna be killed though. That's right. And then those that were not killed, it said they was taken what? And shall be led away captive. Slavery. The ones that we didn't kill are gonna be led away in slavery. That's what to be a captive is. Read. Into all nations. To all nations, read. But it's only for a time, read. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. Of the what? Of the Gentiles. That Gentiles that it's talking about is not talking about me and you at this time. It's talking about those people that you name. It's talking about the Arabians. It's talking about the Amalek, the Jewish people. It's talking about those Africans. It's trodden down of the Gentiles. Why is that? Because they removed us from the land. They killed us and took us into slavery. And now they are trying or walking around that land. Nation is men leading by example. 